Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beer Adventure. And I'm Becky. And on this episode, for us, these are some hometown folks. This is Ghost River's Grind and Shine, which is a coffee cream ale from over in Memphis, which is not too far from uh, Beer Adventure Studios. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is a coffee added version of their grit and grind, which is their cream ale, which interesting little side note, was originally brewed for sale at the Grizzlies game, but it became so popular, now you can get it all over the whole area. By the way, it's pretty great. Uh, I like cream ales though. That's super drinkable beer that actually has flavor. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Now, a lot of people are used to like a coffee porter, but this is a coffee cream ale, so you're going to have the flavor, but not necessarily the color. All right. Mm, smells good just from the can. Uh, let's see if it says anything. 5.25 ABV. Early morning flavors with a late night finish. This light body beer. Brings coffee, beans, and vanilla into the mix for a whole new kind of brew. Enjoy the enigma. All right. Let's see what you got, guys. Smell, I smell a little bit of coffee. Mm-hmm. And then I taste coffee with a slight creaminess to it. So, like... And then it ends with beer. Yeah. Okay. I don't really even like coffee that much. It's freaking good. I don't like cold coffee at all. Really? Yeah. If cold coffee means it sat there too long to me. Hmm. But I enjoy this. I really do enjoy this. Now, this beer was provided to me by one of my uh, subscribers. So, appreciate that guy. Um, he asked me if I'd ever had it. I said I had. He said, have you reviewed it for your channel? I said, no. He said, well, I'll bring you one. Thanks. Um, mm. I forgot how good this is. It's really good. It's one I'm of my not even like a it. coffee head, but, you know. I, one thing I like is I taste coffee and I taste beer. Mm -hmm. I hate it when it just tastes like coffee. Um... Like with most cream ales, you don't have that discernible piney hop note. It's not, you know, there's the hops in it to make it beer. But it's not the grab you by the back of the... Ah. Um, it leaves a little bit of an aftertaste, but it's a little bit of a kind of vanilla coffee aftertaste. Yeah. Which I'm, I'm okay with that. You know, that's not bad. Um... It's not too high alcohol, so I think you could drink quite a few of these. Um, it's got a good smell. You know, overall, this is a pretty great beer. Mm-hmm. Agreed. I know I've had it before. Actually, I'm pretty sure I had it at the brewery. I would say we've had it on tap before at Ghost River. Yeah. Yeah. This the, I know this is the first can of it I've drank here. So I can't say I've ever had a can of it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about a can. It's pretty tasty though. Agreed. The crispness is nice. Um, and kind of how one of the ways I judge a beer does it make me want to pick it back up? Mm -hmm. And it, it is. It it's, does. It's making me want to pick it back up and have another drink. So. Well, I don't know. Have you guys had this? Let's talk about it down there in the comments. Um, did you like it? Let me know. Did you like this video? Hit like. That helps us out a lot. Uh, if you're uh, from the Memphis area, make sure you subscribe because I review a lot of beers from Memphis because, well, I can get them. And mm -hmm. there's a lot of good beers made in Memphis. Yep. Matter of fact, if you're from somewhere other than Memphis, subscribe anyways because it would be cool. Uh, did you dig this beer? Yes. I did too. I do dig it. Uh, would you have another? Yes. Yeah, I would. Uh, how many would you put in a six-pack? 
probably three. It, it is definitely worth two or three and a six, split six if I was just going to. Which, that's one of the things I do. I'll just stop by and grab a handful of beers. Because most of the places around here, a, a mix six is like ten bucks. And then I get a nice little uh, variety. But, you know, I could definitely see getting a six pack of this. Right. Yeah. Well, what's it going to be for you? On a um, since it's canned now and it's more readily available in my market, I'd probably put it at like an eight, just because I really like it. All right, awesome. Um, I'm gonna say I'm right there. I thought about it for a little bit on a seven, but to be honest, it's a little better than that. I think. The complexity is a little deceiving. I think it's actually a little more complex than it seems at first because to get the coffee flavor, the vanilla flavor, and the beer and nothing run over each other, mm -hmm. I, I think it's pretty cool. And I actually enjoy the coffee flavor in this. I think they did well because mm -hmm. I'm not a coffee drinker, like at all. Cold, hot, nothing. Just never got into it. Well, there you go, folks. Till your next beer adventure. Cheers. Cheers.